Good morning. Hi, Jess. Hey, good morning. And I just spoke to one of our camera operators, Paul Sanchez, who uh, was not far from the blast. And it's a little shaken up, to be honest, because knowing how close he was, and we're just so happy he's okay. But he described um, how he'd never felt anything quite like this explosion, and he couldn't hear for a couple hours or couldn't hear well. He is doing okay this morning, and we're going to hear more from him in the next hour. But here live on the ground, if you push in behind me on the scene, you can see the huge police presence, and this is a couple blocks away from where that explosion happened. I also want to show you video from Sky 5 to give you a sense of the power of this blast. It was so severe that Sky 5 actually spotted the lid to the detonating device police were using a quarter mile away. It weighs 2,000 pounds. At least 17 people, including 10 LAPD officers, an ATF agent, and nearby residents were injured when the blast happened about 7.30. LAPD had seized 5,000 pounds of legal fireworks and then some sort of illegal improvised explosive material from the same South L.A. home near 27th and San Pedro. Obviously, there was some sort of catastrophic failure, and the result was shattered glass everywhere. Police say 12 homes at least were damaged to some degree, as were nearby cars and windows of local businesses. For example, the laundromat near where Paul was shooting that was uh, greatly damaged. I spoke to Morris. He owns a laundromat uh, at 27th and San Pedro. And I also spoke to a man named Kenny who owns a clothing factory. Their businesses will be impacted for days. I have a certain things to finish, promise to the customer by a certain day. But you know, today I cannot go to work, so you know, it has to be delayed. And then you know, it's like you know, domino effects. You know, if I have a problem with one, then maybe one and after the other, you know, my customer will have an effect, you know. It was very shocking to see the big explosion and uh, I just didn't know what to do at the time because my employees called me and I wanted to come and then they said, no, don't come. They closed the streets. They won't even let you in. So I kept watching on the news to see what happens, but it's not a good feeling because uh, there's a lot of damage to the facility. As we've been sharing with you all morning long, residents describing what felt like an earthquake or a big rig slamming into their home. Thankfully, we're hearing no serious injuries. The worst are moderate. Uh, of course, these residents are saying they want answers. As I mentioned, we're going to hear more from our cameraman, uh, Paul Sanchez, coming up in the next hour on the KTLA 5 Morning News. I'm Christina Pascucci, reporting live from South Los Angeles for KTLA 5 News. Back to you.